This nail tutorial is on gel nails with mylar and black tips. First, we're going to prep our natural nail using an electric file or a manual file. You're going to lightly buff the top of the nail to create a rough surface and remove the shiny top layer. From there, we're going to use nail forms, and this is how we're going to build our tips. Nail forms can be intimidating, they're really simple. For this one, we're going to just pinch the ends, not all the way up to the top. We're going to slide it onto our free edge, flush with our side walls of our nails, and then we're going to press the sides onto the finger so that we have a secure fit on the nail. From there, we're going to take our base gel. That's a gel that you use only on the natural nail, and we're going to apply a thin layer. I skipped over this part in the video. After you cure your base gel for 10 seconds, you're going to create a free edge. A free edge is the length that you want the nail to be, and this is where the black gel is going to sit on. Once that is cured, then we're going to create our C curvature. You're going to use the magic wand, which is a C curvature, and you're going to squeeze and create the shape of your nail. This just helps create a beautiful C curve. You don't want to cure the gel for too long because you want to be able to for it to be pliable. So 10 seconds is about right. Once you have your C curve in, you can gently remove your form and now you have a tip. The tip does not have to be perfect because in the end you're going to file it off. It just has to have the initial shape. You're going to take your black color gels. It's from the Kaleido Sculpt Color Kit and you're going to create your free edge. You need a thin layer of this, and you're gonna gently pillow it out to the edges and tuck it into the corner, and you're gonna do that on the other side. You don't have to use black gel, you can use any color gel you want, or you can do it with a white tip to create a French manicure. Once you've done your other side of your gels, making sure to tuck it up in the corner, you're going to cure it in a light for 10 seconds. At this point, we're not going to do a full cure. We just need to set the gel. From there, we're going to take a light layer of reflex and put another thin layer over the black part of the nail only. This is going to help us adhere our mylar. Mylar comes in many different colors, as you can see here. And once your tacky layer of flex is on, because you didn't cure it, you simply put a thin layer. You're going to put your mylar on in any combination and color in any format you want. In this case, I used blue and green and a little bit of red. The goal is to make it look like glass. From there, you're going to take a thick gel, your building gels and you're going to build the body of your nail. This is where you're going to get the shape from. Doing the cuticle area is very important. Notice how I'm pushing it back to the cuticle. I'm not wiping it on like nail polish like I did the base gel. This helps it to prevent it from running into the cuticle and from there you can manipulate it to the shape you want. Cure in a UV light for 10 seconds from here, we're going to wipe off our tacky, sticky layer, and we're going to take a manual file, and we're going to shape the nails. I prefer square nails. Once you've taken your manual file, you can go in with an electric gel and clean up your free edge and nail body. From there, we're going to take swipe and remove any excess dust off the nail. We're going to take our finishing gel, and we're going to finish off the nail. Notice we didn't have to buff because we're using a finishing gel right now. Gel nails are far easier to file than acrylic nails. We're going to apply the finishing gel much like polish and we're going to cure in the light for two minutes. And this is a quick tutorial on how to do black gel tips with mylar.